welcome to our the session of wireless communications and networks unit 5 wireless networking the next topic is uh, personal communication services or personal communication networks personal communica uh, communication services or personal communication networks and what is meant by this personal what is meant by personal i think but uh, you are transmit a data by using bluetooth network this is also personal network like when you are using own mobile system this is personal network likewise the main objective that is why uh, the main motto of this personal communication systems or personal communication networks uh, which is used to enable a wireless networks which is used to enable wireless networks uh, which covers different types of services which covers different types of services to the end users in a telephone network in a telephone network without location of the user that is the objective of these personal communication services or personal communication networks is to provide uh, to cover a large wireless communication networks to provide um, different types of services to the end users nothing but different types of services nothing but email email uh, video conferencing uh transmission of transmission of videos like this right here what is the principle what is the background of this pcs or pcn is depends on advanced intelligent network advanced intelligent network ain advanced intelligent network this advanced intelligent network which allows to the users uh, to a single telephone network for both wireless and wireless service for both wireless and wireless service here the best example is your uh, uh, cordless telephone a cordless telephone is fixed telephone network uh, the receiver that is handset in your cordless telephone is wireless for both wired and wireless having the same telephone network here actually this uh, advanced intelligent network having three levels the first one is intelligent level the second one is transport level the third one is access level intelligent transport access level here what is meant by intelligent level which contains which contains the database of the network users which contains the database of users nothing but what is the telephone number of that particular user and what is the billing uh, how much they are connected in the network like addressing that is the uh, database similarly for uh, transport level which is used to transmit information which is used to transmit information next one is access level here the access level which is used uh, to update the database depends upon the location update the database of the user of the location suppose now i am in tirupati some database can be that is the, they are uh, uh, finding the location suppose now i am moving to next uh, hyderabad similarly the same network can be updated the present information present information this is about uh, advanced intelligent network here this uh, pcs or pc network uh, follows the signaling system 7 protocols signaling, signaling system 7 protocols you see this teller column are uh, potential data loads potential data loads for wireless networks that is depends upon the application email paging computer data telephony digital audio video conferencing for these different applications what is the average data rates what is the peak data rate what is the maximum delay and maximum packet loss rate here see this one the average data rate in terms of kbps for email we very less for video conferencing we want more uh, speed without uh, interruption the video and audio for email is only text message for this purpose very less data that it requires but video conferencing we require more data rate 
and delay also for emailing there is no delay problems that is we have to type the text and send but for video conferencing the delay should be very very less we have to maintain then only the video and audio without interrupting we are received similar loss also packet loss also this table shows different potential data loads for wireless wireless networks for different applications right next one is packet versus circuit switching in pcn you know the difference between packet and circuit switching what do you mean a circuit switching in circuit switching having three levels first one is connection establishment then uh, second level is data transmission third one is uh, connection disconnected three levels but in packet switching there is no need these three levels take the information divide the number of packets they directly transmit uh, different packets for different paths and finally reach to the destination here in pcs or pcn we are using packet switching uh, than the circuit switching why what is the uses that is a uh, pcn uh, can be used packet switching to transmit including voice data email and digital video and uh, pcn will support large population frequencies for the users and very less error rate low bit error rate in pcn uh, because arq we are used in it is automatic repeat request nothing but whenever the uh, data loss whenever data loss then automatically it redirects and it is it the pcn ha having high capacity switching infrastructure having high capacity switching infrastructure next one cellular packet switched network cellular packet switched network here how the cellular network which connected uh, to the man network that is metropolitan area network by using this packet switched architecture here we can exactly shows cellular packet switched architecture for a metropolitan area network see this one it is a ring structure see this one so in center it is a ring structure uh, in this ring structure it contains biu base station I, I interface unit nothing but which is connected to base stations cellular networks and tiu trunk interface unit which is connected to uh, psd networks nothing but landline telephones next ciu gateway interface unit gateway interface unit, nothing but msc to connect msc to this particular network and ciu cellular control interface unit and giu gateway interface unit that is which is connected to next another metropolitan area network and wiu wireless interface unit that is your mobile phone to your base station is wireless connection hdb home database vdb visitor database here what is the difference between hdb and vdb home database is nothing but suppose uh, i am taking a sim card and which is under uh, ap telecom region nothing but i am registered in ap telecom region now that, that right next suppose now i am temporarily moving to the uh, bangalore city nothing but in bangalore it contains it is karnataka regulator authority telephones nothing but i am temporarily uh, visiting to the another uh, telephone region that is visitor database i think but home database is nothing but who registered in the particular region is a home database vdb is a visitor database who visited temporarily in that particular region is a visitor database here from this figure how it works how it works here the central having one metropolitan area network which connected cellular networks and psdn networks and msc connected and connected to another metropolitan network by using optical fiber cables optical fiber cables here in this figure first of all we are going for each and every one first one is tiu trunk interface unit here what is use of trunk interface unit here the trunk interface which unit which is used to connect a man network to the psdn man network to psdn what is the use of this tiu tiu is a physical layer 
physical layer and here by using this ta you use transcoders and channel coders to convert packet formats uh, either for fixed network or wireless network format suppose you have to transmit uh, information from uh, your pst network to uh, cell network nothing but we have to convert format from fixed network to wireless network suppose to transmit information from cellular network to pst network that is to converts from wireless network format to fixed format for this purpose we are using pad packet assembler and disassembler this assembler that is which combines information which can be interleave the information packets and this each and every packet assembler disassembler contains packet header here what is a packet header the packet header contains addresses what is the source address what is the destination address here not only this one it contains uh, flags error checksums packet control information address fields here this trunk interface unit uh, address is added uh, that is either by the permanent terminal identifier or virtual circuit identifier here what is meant by permanent terminal identifier pti that is which is address of the tiu which is the address of tiu from where the call has originated from where the call has originated what about a vci virtual circuit identifier is the thing but the information contains packet header the information contains packet header nothing but what is the source address and what is the destination address to transmit Here, see this one. This is the exact mineral block of uh, trunk interface unit. That is from MAN network to PSTN network. Here, see this one. Uh, from the right side, we are having MAN network. From the left side, having trunk uh, trunk line connected to PST network. Suppose to transmit data uh, from MAN network to PST network. That is, first one you have to take that information and disassemble. That is dividing. dividing the packets after this packets it contains source address and destination address that is by using this virtual site identifier and permanent trunk identifier and base station identifier that is where exactly data is coming from right once packet is disassembled after this packet disassembled you have to go for channel encoder and transcoder that is just encryption of the data then transmit to pst network Similarly, from PSTN to MAN network, that is transcoder, channel encoder, again packet assembles by using the source and destination address. This is about cellular trunk interface unit. How to connect from uh, MAN network to PSTN network? The next one is wireless terminal interface unit. Wireless terminal interface unit (WIU). here the wiu which is directly connected to source of information that is it is differs from tiu and it does not interface any pst network or isdn that, that is which is only used for wireless connection purpose with a speed of 64 kbps here we are using uh, packet switching here hand off applicable and which reads base station identifier here see this one how wireless interface unit works this is about radio transceiver this is about radio subsystem subscriber unit that is your mobile phone this is base station how connection takes place uh first you have to go for packet disassemble by using uh, virtual permanent base station identifiers and you know that uh, what is the source and destination address once the packet disassemble we have to give destination address and uh, go for encryption by using transcoder and channel encoder and convert d to a digital to analog converter why because we have to transmit signals from your mobile phone to base station in terms of analog form that's why we have to convert for d to a digital to analog converter after this converter the signal goes from a finally reach to the base station in reverse side from base station to mobile side converts from analog to digital converter again we have to go for uh, dec decryption and all packets should be assembled and apply prma protocol processor 
that is packet resource management protocol this is about wiu wireless interface unit the next one is base station interface unit here the base station interface unit which provides information exchange which provides information exchange between the tiu and wiu tiu and wiu here what is the use of this biu which broadcast packets which broadcast packets nothing but you know uh, we are receiving uh, cellular uh, com company mob, uh, messages like this by using biu that is they broadcast the same message to all end users next one is ciu cellular control interface unit uh, here in this cellular control interface unit uh, which is used to receive process generate information packets for network control which is used to receive process and generate information packets for network control right this is about cellular interface controller interface unit do you have any query on this pcn and pcs please type your query in a chat box thank you thank you very much for attending this session